We are the foundation. Bulletproof the hating from the plantation. We built the whole nation. We are the foundation. Bulletproof the hating from the plantation. We built the whole nation. We are the foundation. Bulletproof the hating from the plantation. We built the whole nation. We are the foundation. Bulletproof the hating from the plantation. We built the whole nation. Who's smoking in that Kamala pack? <laughs> Good job, FBA Nation! I love y'all! Good job! <laughs> you Democrats thought we was playing, huh? Y'all thought it was a game, Democrats! Y'all thought y'all just continue to spin our faces and do all this benign neglect that y'all been doing to us for the past 60 years. And you all you just had our votes in the bag. Huh? Ha! Huh. We warned you, we warned you, and we warned you some more. Y'all found the hard way that when the FBA nation says something, we mean that shit. Y'all don't always play hard, Democrats. We told you, if you don't give us no tangibles, if you don't stop disrespecting us and spitting in our faces, that that damn NND bat was going to be up out of here. You try to fear monger us, talk about some damn Project 2025 like we ain't been going through Project 2025 for the past 40 years. You can't scare us. We only fear God. You disrespected us to our faces by having these ratchet ass rap concerts at your little D DNC rallies, like we care, like we care about some damn Cardi B and, and Megan Thee Stallion. We don't care about them. We want tangibles. You'll find the hallway that the FBA nation ain't a bunch of dummies. And no, trust me, it was the black vote that decided the outcome of this election. Trust me, especially black men such as myself who went and voted down red, which is a big reason why the Senate turned red. 51 of 52 seats are now red. You'll do is play with your asses. When the FBA nation gets on coast and unites like Voltron, we move mountains. We don't care how much you try to fear monger us. We don't care about your lame ass excuses, who you call racist. We don't care. We want tangibles. And then you disrespected us to our face with that weak ass agenda, so-called agenda for black men. Which had tangibles for others in it like we don't know how to read. Like we're stupid. We got tired of you damn Democrats disrespecting us. You gave the Asians a hate bill. Nothing for black Americans. You repeatedly sent billions of our tax dollars to Ukraine. Nothing for black Americans. The same black Americans who ancestors built the United States and gave it all of its culture that y'all make billions of dollars off every year. And y'all found out that we delineated from the Democratic Party just like we really delineated from these tethers who thought we was just playing. Oh no, it's real, buddy. It's real. We mean everything we say is not a fad, it's not going away in three months, it's here to stay. FBA is only online. Nah, nigga, this is real life. 
And no, you got all these tethers who weren't born here. Shook Daddy a Donald J. Trump. <laughs> All over the internet talking about if Trump gets elected, he's gonna deport all the black people, including the black Americans. Nope, psych. Black Americans cannot be deported, idiot. They try to put us in the same boat as them, literally. No, nigga, you can be deported. Black Americans are from here. Let me say it again for the slow people in the black in the back. Black Americans are from here. Comprende? They deport people based on paperwork. I have my genealogical paperwork. You don't like to call niggas African. There is no paperwork or genealogical records showing any of my ancestors getting off a boat from Africa. None. All my paperwork says all my ancestors are from here. You cannot deport black Americans, idiots. We have ancient ancestors from here. Oh, you think you're nigga? You think you're never again? We are, nigga. What are you talking about? Black Americans are non deportable. You get deported to where you came from. We came from here. Y'all came from somewhere else. My family is from North Carolina and Savannah, Georgia, by way of Mississippi. Oh, and you can't tell me that Mississippi side ain't got no ancient ancestry from them ancient black Mississippians who are from here, not Africa. There's nothing you can do to black Americans that hasn't been done to us before. That's why we're the only ones walking around carefree, no fear in our hearts at all. The only black Americans who's walking around shook daddy are these weirdo ass, sassy ass black democratic shills. Like Plies. Like Roland Martin. Well, he's Haitian, but you get the drift. Trump is going to get man, shut your bitch ass up. The Democrats were literally trying to wipe black Americans off the face of our of the earth physically, historically, and culturally, and you're scared of Donald Trump who ain't did nothing to us. This is why I don't respect Democratic shields because they are retarded. Corky. When Trump was announced the new president of the United States of America, I popped a bottle of that red wine. I don't drink alcohol, but I damn sure do drink red wine on occasion for all my Hebrew niggas. It's not because that I love Donald Trump. This me voting for Trump And the Republicans was a business decision. I I didn't vote for Trump. I voted for mass deportation. How you know Trump really good? Because he was doing it the first time. He had that border secure. And then that damn Mr. Burns old ass geezer. The first thing he did when he got out on the White House. Was sign executive orders to open that damn border wide open. And all these damn black democratic shoes are all over the internet having a conniption fit and I love it Van Jones bitch ass shedding tears as he usually does that damn tether Joy Reid doing a hissy fit calling uh, Donald Trump Hitler like, we, like that's gonna do something they are mad about it and I love every minute of it <laughs> Where Plies at? 
Where Uncle Luke? Where's Jagged Teeth having an ass up? Wait, where they at? Talking all that shit. <laughs> Hold this L, Democrats. The FBA nation has spoken. Come January, you're going to have all the time in the world to go over Kamala Harris's house and eat some of them nasty ass collard greens that she washed in a bathtub with all the ass and foot dirt in it. (laughs) That Hindu heifer, Kamala Harris, the Democrats, and FEMA offered hurricane victims in the South $750 $750 in relief. $750! Some of those people down there lost everything they had and they offered them $750. Now, mind you, everybody who applied for the FEMA relief didn't get it. Some of them were actually turned down. Oh, you knew that, C.T. Roll. Because I know people personally down there who were affected by the hurricane who applied and were turned down by FEMA. Now, mind you, these are the same Democrats who are letting illegals come over here, stay in five-star hotels for free, get two years or more free housing, $13,000 $13,000 on a damn EBT card, $9,000 on a debit card, free health, free full coverage health care, and you're giving American citizens who lost everything in a hurricane $750. Now, mind you, this is in the weeks leading up to the presidential election. These Democrats are so stupid that you couldn't even make it look good by providing these people with some real relief to make Kamala Harris look good, which in turn would get more people to vote for her on November 5th. These Democrats are idiots. These dumbass Democrats repeatedly shit on people, spit in their faces, and then expect them to turn around and vote for them. You left American citizens, hurricane victims, to starve, die, and be homeless, then expect them to turn around and vote for your whole ass in November. You repeatedly spit in the faces of black Americans, not giving us any tangibles, dumping illegals into our neighborhoods, putting them in our businesses, giving them free money, while black Americans are homeless all over the country, especially in the major cities like New York and L.A. And then you just expect black Americans to turn around and vote for your dumb asses. This is the idiocy of the Democratic Party, y'all. And you'll wonder why you're at where you're at right now looking stupid. The White House is red. The Senate is red. Deal with it. Your use to that fatal flaw that I will admit that black Americans have of being too damn compassionate and kind hearted. Well, guess what? Those days are over. Just ask these tethers. We are done with all y'all and this time we mean it. Our hearts have turned cold. The same way you didn't give a F about us, we don't give a F about you now, no matter what you do or say. There's nothing you can do or say to change our minds. Nothing. This is a new era. This is the era of matching energy. We're giving you the same energy that you gave us. And no, you all know you all messed up, right? The first thing Donald J is going to do when he takes office is pardon himself for all those trumped up, pun intended, charges that you Democrats try to put on him because y'all knew y'all couldn't defeat him in the presidential election, which y'all later found out. This message goes out to Kamala Harris, Stacey Abrams, and the whole Democratic Party. What you gonna do when the FBA don't vote for you? It's the FBA World Order! 
Now let's get to the point! <laughs> Chino Resort. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Channel Raw TV Bay Bay.